Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert an image onto another image. In the last video I did of this, there was some confusion about the sorts of images that you can insert because some of them were cut out or PNG files, and people often found that some of those files still had that checkable background. So I'm just going to help you out to just show you the difference in the different files, which means some are downloaded with backgrounds and some aren't. So I've got my image here. This is just a space image I've just picked, up, picked off Pixabay. And all I'm going to do is just to make this picture just a little bit more effective. I'm just going to reduce the brightness of this. So, so I'm just going to go up to image adjustments and go to levels. I'm just going to go to this central marker here and just pull it to the right to darken it. Great, and just click OK. So now what I want to do is to put my image within this image. Now, if I just go up to File, Open, and open my file that I want, and click Open, you can see that it will open as a separate image with a separate tab up here, and here is our original image. Now from here, you can take this image over to your document. All you need to do is press Command or Control A, on your keyboard, which will select your image. Make sure you're on your move tool, click on your image, press down the shift key, and then drag it up to this tab up here, which is your image. Keep holding down your mouse and your shift key, and then just drop it in and release. And you can see that your image has been transferred over the top of the original space image. Alternatively, you can drag and drop so let's just get rid of this layer, just highlight it and press delete. If I go to my desktop and just open up my file, and then I just grab the image that I want and drag it into the space image, you can see it will be inserted on top of the space image as a separate layer. You can see it over here. Now if you insert it this way, and you click the checkbox up here, You'll see there's this little funny square in the corner, which means that this is a smart object. Now, that's quite important when you're inserting images and resizing them, because if your image isn't a smart object, then if, for example, you reduce the size of it and click OK, when you then go to resize it with the transform tool, let's go to image, sorry, edit, transform, scale. If you then try to pull it back up, it will be pixelated. So let's just show you that with the other image. So this is our smart object. Let's go back to this earth image here. So we've highlighted it, click and drag it over to this image. Now when this one's imported, you can see it's not a smart object. So let's resize this one. So I'm going to hit the shortcut Command T, which is the shortcut for transform. I'm now going to reduce the size of this globe, this image, and press the check up here. Now if I go to resize it, if I put it up, look what happens. It's all pixelated. And that's because it's not a smart object. So what you need to do is when you import your images and you want to resize them, it's really important that you turn it into a smart object. Now, this currently isn't a smart object. Let's just go back. But if we do want to make it into a smart object, we can right click and go to convert to smart object. And you will know it's a smart object because you'll get this little icon in the corner. So again, if we were to resize this now, let's take this really small hit the check and then transform again and then resize it, you can see it's perfect. Okay. Now you can see that these images have a black background. So let's just get rid of one of these. Let's just resize this one. There we go. And we'll get rid of the background here. Now you can see there's this checkable background and lots of times when you download an image off the internet 
or you take a screenshot, depending on how you download it or what kind of file it is, will depend on whether this checkerboard dis, um, whether this checkerboard appears or not. So if you take a screenshot, it's literally taking an image of what you're highlighting. So if you then try to import it, it will import all of this checkerboard background. Now, the type of file that you need to ensure that this checkerboard background doesn't appear is a PNG file or a SVG file. So let's open this globe up as different files. So currently, this is my downloaded file from the internet and it's a JPEG. Let's go to File, Open. And now I've cut out this globe and I've saved it to two different files. I've saved it as a JPEG. So let's open up the JPEG and see how that works. So I've cut it out, but I've got a white background. Let's just place it into our document. So now you can see I've got a white background instead of a black background, and that's because I've saved it as a JPEG. So let's take that away, go back to open, and then let's open this as a PNG file. So I cut the globe out, which I'll show you how to do shortly. I cut the globe out and I saved it as a PNG file. So let's now open up that one. And now you can see if I just move this over to our document. Now if I move it around, you can see the background is transparent and I've just got the globe. So it has to be a PNG file. And the other thing to remember is that if you download an image from the internet or one of your own images, if you've got a figure or a person in it, if you want to insert them into your image, you have to cut them out. So you have to do that using various different pieces of software, including Photoshop. So let's cut this out and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool, which is this circular tool here. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to hold down my shift key to ensure it's a perfect circle. But as I drag, you can see it's not perfectly aligned over the globe. So as I've hit the shift key, also hit the space bar, which will allow you to move it. And then keep the shift key down because you need to maintain a circle. Hit the space bar when you want to move it. And once you're happy, just release. Now all I'm going to do is copy and paste it by Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and then look at my layers panel. If I just make our original image disappear by using the eyedropper tool, and I'm on my move tool up here, you can see I've now cut that out. If you want to save that as a PNG file, then you can save that in the normal way. And then as I showed you earlier, you will have a PNG file with just your cutout subject. So once you've done that, we can pop the background back in. And then we can go ahead and use our transform tool to transform the sizes and our move tool to move this around. So let's move this one up here. And I want to now just copy this. So I can either use copy and paste or I can simply just drag this down to the plus sign here and duplicate it. As you can see on my layers panel over here, I've got another globe. Hit the Command or Control T for the Transform tool, reduce the size of it. Hit the checkbox, and then just copy that again. And again, because these are smart objects, they won't pixelate when you make them bigger or smaller. Let's put that one there. The other way you can do this is hit the Alt key on your keyboard, click and drag. So that's also another way you can copy and paste. And then just finally one more. There. I know it's a little bit random, lots of globes, but I think you get the idea of how to insert those images onto another image.
and also the importance of converting them into a smart object to avoid the pixelation. And again, trying to eliminate that problem with a checkered background. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.